Welcome back to Let's Play Train 9 with our old city restoration here. Uh, in our last episode, we went ahead, we built a uh, loop connecting the old city with uh, the small suburban city. We also built a freight rail from uh, the suburban city through the old city to the industrial port. In this episode, we're going to go ahead and start uh, building a ring around uh, the metropolis here. And uh, we'll look to get our headquarters placed as well in the uh, old city. One thing I'm going to do here, though, is uh, I'm going to drop a new station here. I think we can get some ridership. So for a metropolis, I'm gonna I want to get a nice large elevated rail without a lot of um, I don't want to have to clear a lot of land for this or buy up a lot of property for this. Just want a nice clean rail line. I'm gonna go up to well, I'm gonna start at 20 here. Gonna elevate to 40. First, I'm gonna stretch that out a bit, like that. Elevate to 40, just long enough to get up and over the uh, existing line. Keep it at 40 as we loop around, but I'm going to drop it down to 20 meters. That will, uh, of course, negatively uh, affect the uh, efficacy of the, uh, the line having such a large, um, a large run there, but we'll survive. So, so far so good. Not knocking out uh, anything, really, which is ideal. We save a lot of cash that way. And we'll be packed nice and dense with uh, the, the city. Just a touch more. I don't mind knocking out that one there. The the big uh, the big telling thing will be when we start uh, placing the elevated rail stations. Those are what really uh, kills existing buildings. I had it there. Perfect. So, given our current uh, cash situation, I, I, I would have liked to have placed larges. It would have, uh, you know, it, it does improve things a fair bit. You can see we'd be looking at 135 million. Versus 75, so it's almost two for one. We're going to do uh, eight, uh, eight length platforms. That'll enable us to use uh, the, the higher capacity commuter trains.
Ah, it's deciding to be a little bit of a pain for me here. Yeah, it looks like I'm going to have to rework uh, the line a little bit here. There we go. So I got to tweak this section as well a little bit. Fortunately, it can't be spot on, but it's easier. You either go station to station or just build the whole network. I prefer to, to build through the whole network. And we'll just hug that nice and tight there. Not going to be able to coordinate that there because of the elevation difference. But I uh, can tweak this area here a bit. We'll wipe out uh, this turn. Add in the station. Yeah, and it'll be fairly easy for us to just link that up. That's going to be primarily for development, so I'll just knock that down. Um, yeah, I'm pretty pleased with that. I would really like to get something in around here. I don't know how feasible that'll be. So it'll just be a matter of uh, knocking out a little bit of, of road. It might not even be all that much. Had it there for... Th there we go. Yeah, I'm really pleased with uh, with this little route here. We'll go ahead. We'll grab the eight-car commuter trains. You know it's a fair bit slower, but those are some uh, pretty impressive... Uh, numbers main catch so is hefty price tag as well so we're really burning into our uh, cash reserves here but as you can see we're already pulling some really good numbers there 3500 
Yeah, that's a that's a route I can definitely be uh, really pleased with. Let's take a peek at our uh, economic information. We should see a quick, uh, a little bit of a jump there in train profits. Yeah, you can see that it's starting to uh, uh, get get on the upswing there. Surprised our power plants are in such rush, rough shape. I'm uh, gonna look to drop um, a couple more uh, solar power plants here. Slow time back down a bit. It's getting about that time. We got some problems with our trucks. Nothing too serious, though. So I'm kind of I'm wanting to get to a little bit of busing going on here. It's just a matter of how the uh, the best way to execute that. Probably also going to need uh, more construction materials for our large city. I'm not sure the best way to execute that right now. Oh, we got some time left here, so we're going to go ahead, buy up uh, some shares here, just so we, s uh, just so we start, uh, making some money. There we go. Probably best if I only go 90,000 just uh, for the monthly consumption tax. We should be in a safe position to sell those. There we go. Actually, we may need another little cell here to see us through the uh, rest of this episode. You can see why I usually do uh, these uh, s purchases off camera. It's a little bit, uh, a little bit dreary here. Sell those. Hopefully that sale goes through nice and quick. Ended up uh, making a little bit, but not much. Okay, so, seeing a little bit of a build-up of construction materials up uh, up this way. Not, probably not the best place to put our headquarters. Oh, well. So our next objective here is to come up with a uh, good scheme for this uh, central station here for the old town. 
Now one thing we could do, we could build a loop extending from the outside track. We bring it around, link it into our ring route here, and then pull it into the, uh, the station. Which is, so it'll all flow with, go with the flow of traffic on the rail. I don't think necessarily that we're going to get th that uh, done in this episode, but we'll go ahead and uh, get that started. We'll just wait for the uh, train to pass there. Okay. Well, we're gonna have to knock out uh, knock out a little bit of road here. Even more road at that. At least we're able to get this as uh, ground level now before it becomes prohibitive later with uh, development. And those level crossings will come in later. So I get about here and we'll start our elevation to 20 meters and link in. So one thing for sure is we don't have a way to do this cheaply. We're looking at, yeah, a million there to get this across. Actually, it works out to be a little bit more than that just for lining this up. I don't think uh, subway would necessarily be the most viable thing here. Um, you know what? That's not turning out too bad. But uh, we'll work on this in the next episode. We'll connect the, those lines up. Should get a, a ver another very productive line. I don't think I'll be putting another uh, large commuter train on it. Just uh, the standard uh, AR3 or, or an AR4 train. So uh, thank you very much for watching the episode. And I hope you enjoyed it. And will join me in the uh, next episode of our Old City re Restoration.